Hi, this is Steve Moore with Garrett Metal Detectors, and this is one of our latest books from Ram Books that we put out. It's on relic hunting. It's called Relic Quest, and this is a good informative book on how to relic hunt, where to relic hunt, how to do research. There's a lot of chapters in here on all the specific types of relic hunting, such as American Revolution, Civil War, uh, even has Texas Revolution, touches on colonial sites, frontier sites, hunting on farms, just a wide variety of places, including water hunting, where relics can be found in the water, both in salt water and fresh water. And I'm a relic hunter at heart. I love to go out and look for old history, since I, I write about history in my spare time. But aside from anything I might have learned to put in here, there's literally dozens of veteran relic hunters that have contributed a lot of their stories and a lot of their photos to make this book more interesting. Uh, for those getting into the sport that are kind of new to it, there's sections on belt plates and box plates from the Civil War. Shows Union and Confederate plates. Uh, gives you, you know, not all that are out there. That, that can't possibly be covered in a chapter, but a lot of good photos and color to represent some of the things that you might find to help identify them. Uh, as far as buttons, there's several pages of Confederate buttons. Uh, both the general service and then the state specific ones, union buttons from most of the different states, just showing a representation of what you might find. Uh, in the front and aside to having research notes, there's also uh, some safety tips in here. Also gives in the front on page 111 a basic uh, checklist for the relic hunter, all the things you might want to keep handy for the hunt if you're heading out the next day stuff you might want to keep in a bag so that you're not forgetting something at the last second. So uh, hopefully with Relic Quest, even the novice hunter up to the one that's got a little more experience can pick up a few pointers in here or at least use some of the, the full color photos to help identify some of their finds. There's more than 1,000 full color photos in here uh, for identification purposes and the book is 532 pages available from uh, your Garrett dealer or go to garrett.com to get some more information on the book. In the front part of the book there's a lot more general information on different types of metal detectors, single frequency versus multi-frequency, you know, where you want to use those different types. Uh, there's also a lot of information on search coil types and just different tips on things like discrimination, how much to use, where to use it, where people opt not to use it at all. Uh, there's some representative tables uh, showing where targets might ID with a certain detector in an air test, in the ground, in the ground at a different orientation, and in the ground with high mineralization. So hopefully there's a few pointers in here that'll help out, you know, again from the novice all the way up to the one that's got a little more experience with relic hunting. Uh, as far as finding the book, you can go to garrett.com to get more information. Uh, simply go to the hobby division of garrett.com to Ram Books, and you'll find uh, an entry in there for Relic Quest. It's got some uh, pages out of the book and general information on what you can find in it and what you can learn from the book. Well, as I mentioned, there's a lot of stories in here from veteran relic hunters touching on all these different types of relic hunting. Uh, I share a few of my finds in there, as well as some of the organized hunts we put together here in the Texas area and some of the other states we've gone through. For some of the Civil War sections, we traveled to Georgia, I uh, went over to Virginia, Tennessee, South Carolina, and we touch on some of the hunts we were engaged in there. And you learn a little bit about what some of the other locals there have found over the years, you know, living in some of those real rich history areas of the country. Uh, there's also a little bit in one of the sections on organized hunts, some of the big relic hunts that are put on by the groups each year. So it'll touch on that. Um, you know, Larry has put together some hunts that we've filmed shows in the past. There's, there's some pictures from some of those. And mainly just seeing what other people have dug. In some cases you see an item that you've kind of wondered, what is that? And there's some tips on how to figure out what you found or where to post it on a forum and how to get some advice from some of those that really have the experience out there in the field. I don't pretend to know it all, but I do go out and learn every time I get out with a group of people. And I encourage you to get out and give it a shot on finding some old history and get together with some people that have the experience that have been doing this for 10 or 20 years and you'll be surprised at what you learn and, and how much fun this can be. Well the chapter on researching productive sites it gives you a little bit of insight into how to use the internet today to do some of your research 
how to get into some of the map uh, systems that are out there and how we've taken an old map and overlaid it with the modern map and with the satellite view and kind of put those together in Photoshop or some other program to help really coordinate where a site might be. Uh, there's also some books and resources and periodicals that are referenced. And of course, just some of the general tips like using your local county library and you know going into the local history section, reading up on some of the stuff that wasn't published in a history book per se, but more family history or local history to that town. You know, where did they have the earliest uh, places where they would muster troops or where was a skirmish fought in that county? And there's a lot to be found by your research. You know, if it's on a treasure map, it's probably pretty well known in most cases. So you getting in there and doing the digging yourself and doing the research, by and large, that's where you're gonna find your better sites to dig up history. So hopefully there'll be a few tips in here, a few things that'll come in uh, handy for those kind of getting into relic hunting. Relic Quest is available from uh, Garrett retailers, metal detector dealers. You can find out a little bit more about it on the Garrett website by going to the hobby division and going under Ram Books. Uh, the suggested retail price is $22.95. Your local Garrett dealer may have a, a different price on that, so definitely check to see what kind of special they might be running. And as a matter of fact, this summer, Relic Quest is also part of the GTI 2500 Summer Special. So that book and three other items are included free with the purchase of a 2500, as you'll hear from Vaughn in a minute on what's included in the special.